Alright guys, yes, it is the moment you've been waiting for. I was actually going to do this yesterday, but it was in the 80s, it was super hot. Today it is in the 40s. It is a nice, crisp, cool fall day. The leaves are falling, and I have all the parts to the giant 12-foot Home Depot skeleton right back there in the driveway. We got the skull, the pelvis, the rib cage, and even the femurs. And from what I've seen online, it really isn't all that difficult of a build. The most difficult part is stabilizing him and securing him. So I have ordered a box of things here, like these stakes that twist into the ground, have this loop here that we can stick the frame under, and I ordered four of these locks so that we can also use those to lock the frame down. I ordered these eye screws because there's supposed to be a connector that comes out his back right here. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm gonna do it, but I plan on connecting him to maybe the roof over there or something so he won't fall over. I did not double check this with my wife, but this is the area where I plan on putting him. And I gotta get to work because she's in the shower and I wanna get it done before she comes out and sees it. <laughs> stand him up. enormous he is what the heck man i opted to put the one arm up like he was waving i thought that would be cool he is so huge what the heck <laughs> oh my gosh look at this so the base down here actually comes with these four like things to lengthen the corners so that they can give it more stabilization. I think I'm just gonna put those on the front too and keep him that close to the house up there 
Wow, look how huge he is. Oh my gosh, look at that. He is so enormous. <laughs> he just towers over me. I'm not even as tall as his pelvis. Look at that, his pelvis is even taller than I am. What the heck, man? Wow, he is enormous. Right now, before you do anything else, guys, give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you love the giant 12-foot Halloween skelly from Home Depot. Or the pumpkins and the hay bales. Or the ghosty on the trick-or-treat coffin. So I do need to straighten him up a little bit. He's a little bit lopsided, kind of leaning towards the house there. I need to get these stakes and locks in place. He does come with these basic stakes here which really won't do anything. He comes with a heavy duty wire to connect the thing on the back of him, which is what I got these for, so that I can connect him to these, which will probably be screwed into the roof somewhere. I'm just not sure about that yet, because I'm not so hot about putting holes in my roof. So I'll have to work on that. I'm not gonna make you watch that part, because the exciting part is just getting Skelly set up. He also does come with a power adapter, but he does use batteries that go right in his bum. I will tell you also, though, I got all this stuff on Amazon, and I'm gonna link a video below that tells you how to use this stuff and exactly what to get. I don't remember the name of that channel right now, but shout out to that guy. <laughs> so I'm going to get all that set up, see if we can get his eyes going, and then I will show you the finished skelly. Okay, so I got all the anchors and the locks in place. Again, I'll put that link below if you guys want to learn how to do that, if you actually have one of these or you're going to buy one. And you can't really tell because it's so light out, but maybe, maybe you can see that. The eyes are working right now. I put batteries in. Yeah, there we go. If I zoom all the way into his eyes, you can see them moving there. Back and forth and up and down. <laughs> How crazy is that? It's always funny when I'm out here setting this Halloween stuff up for videos and then Amazon arrives. So there he is right there. How cool is that, guys? That looks so totally awesome. I love how tall he is, I love that his eyes move around, and I love that his arm is up, so he's just saying, hello friends, come visit. I'd be lying if I said I wasn't a little bit concerned about that arm though, because it's just it just seems like a very flimsy connection. Maybe I'm wrong, there are people who leave these things up year round in the, the wind of winter and everything, but look at the leaves flying there with him in the background, how cool is that but yeah kind of worries me with like the pressure just from the arm being up like that i hope it doesn't break anyways guys there he is let's get a look at him um from like down here see how he looks from the sidewalk pretty dang cool this is how it looks to anybody walking by he is a perfect addition to the halloween spookiness